When talking about Tantra, I've often talked about visual, about tactile, about sound. But what I haven't talked about a lot is taste and smell. Why is that? They're obviously sensory input items that can make you sense and feel in a particular way. But I've left them until now because dealing with taste and smell can be a little tricky. For one thing, taste and smell are very personal experiences. One person's beloved food is somebody else's worst nightmare. You can go safe. Most people would probably not object to oranges and bananas. But if you go down the road of cooked liver or Brussels sprouts, you are on difficult territory. So that's the first thing to think about with taste and smell. It's a personal experience. But the second thing is also how do you deliver these to the person you work with. Visuals, sound and touch are fairly simple and can be done at any time. You can look at people, you can talk to people, you can touch people, wherever you are. But working with smell involves a bit more preparation, unless you're going with body odors or smell of skin or remnants of something you've touched. But those are fairly esoteric subjects and smells and they usually don't come across as especially desirable. So when you work with taste and smell, and both of them usually come together, what you can do is prepare. Bring out the Divine Feminine first to do a preparation, and then become active in your masculine aspect and play with the things that you've prepared. I've already mentioned fruit. Lots of fruit is very specific. Lemons, oranges, strawberries have been associated with the sensual side of life for a long time. You could think asparagus, you could think carrots because they have a crunch. Uh, you could think of things that are sweet or sour or bitter or hot and involve those in the sensory experience. It's really all up to you. The better you know your partner, the less challenging that is because you know what they like. So you can go off the grid a little bit by bringing things in that they're not usually exposed to. For example, you could go into a breathing exercise and change the items that emit smell while you're doing it and going through the chakras. Give it a think. What could you incorporate and try it out? Be well and stay well.